So today guys, I'm going to show you how to make a red label chocolate cake. Yes. So the first thing you need to do is get some fruit. Yeah. I soak this for about a month, but if you don't have that much time, get some fruit and put it in a pot and pour your red label on it and boil it for um, a couple of minutes, maybe around 30, 45 minutes on very low heat. And make sure you, you're not using like a gas top because that's very flammable. You can use an electric cooker or yeah just like an electric cooker or an induction cooker okay so so guys we have our chocolate cake that are already baked yes and i used my favorite chocolate cake recipe <laughs> so you can use any chocolate cake recipe that you want yes so i'm going to show you how to do that today you get to just make a regular chocolate cake or you can use any cake you can use maybe a vanilla cake or a red velvet cake this um this style is very flexible basically i'm just going to show you how to infuse your red label and the fruit into that so now i'm slicing my cakes and if you want me to show you okay i have a video on how you can like slice your cakes evenly and um like so it can be neat and well done and i'm going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that so we're going to slice our cakes into like two slices each um whatever into two slices basically <laughs> so i'm going to show you how to infuse that and it's important that you level your cake before you torch your cake torching means like you're putting the cake together with the fillings and the cream and everything so i have a video on how to level cakes and i'm going to put the link right up here so you can click on that as well <laughs> okay so moving on today we're using red label and it's like i've never actually tried this alcohol before i think i have i can't remember anyways so that's what we're using today and when you boil your fruit with the alcohol whatever kind of alcohol you use you can use vodka you can use any other one though so you have to make sure it is cold before you touch your cakes with it do you understand if it is not cold your cake will spoil on time it means like you're covering the heat into the cake and that will like um that will like produce a conducive atmosphere for bacteria to grow and your cake will spiral within 24 hours basically like so what you want to do is get a food brush and then spread your red label on top of the cake and notice like this is the bottom of the cake this is the slice part the part where the knife goes through yes that part that part absorbs um liquid more than the top that was baked this was the top that was baked even though like i already leveled it you're still going to put liquid on that but before you put your cake down yeah you have to first like um glaze the back of it the under of it with some red label yeah you can saturate it as much as possible and like there is no maximum amount you can put or minimum amount you just want to put as much like so you can feel the flavor and you don't want to put too much that your cake becomes soggy yes i don't know how so what we're going to do next is to put some buttercream on top of our cake and then we're going to use our spatula to create like a well in the middle where we can put in the fruit and remember what i told you you have to make sure these fruits are like completely cold if you didn't have, have as much time as i did like for me like i kind of soaked this fruit about four weeks prior to this time so if you didn't have as much time then you can use the boiling method i told you at the beginning of this video so once you do that put in the freezer so you can cool down on time you have to make sure it is cold guys before you use it so that you can come and see your cake got spoiled yes it will get, get spoiled with the alcohol in it like it start drying so make sure it is cold first so once you pour the fruit in the middle you're going to put some cream on top just to seal it in so it won't be like moving all around or like so your the cake on top can stick on top of it better as well so we're going to put that the next layer and then we are going to do the same thing so guys if you watch this video to this point and you haven't subscribed to my channel come on <laughs> come on all you have to do is click and subscribe okay that sounds entitled okay yeah see that red button under this video just click on that it says subscribe just click on it it is not difficult i promise okay and then like this video the good thing is like when you like my videos yeah you're telling youtube that you actually did like the video so they're going to suggest more of my videos to you next time when i post new things and even when you're not subscribed they're going to suggest my videos to you when like i post new things all the time so Please like this video even if you don't subscribe. Thank you. This is me not overreaching, you get. Okay. 
okay guys let's get to it so now we need to cover this again with some buttercream because you know we don't want it to move around and we want it to stay in place so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put the next layer and guys look at this buttercream yeah if you have a business if you have a cake business and you're watching this video right now let me tell you the reason why you should switch from the regular american buttercream everyone uses to Swiss meringue buttercream, yeah, and I have an amazing recipe for that, but that's not the point, okay? <laughs> but just in case you want the recipe, it's going to be right up here. It says click on me, yeah. The reason why you should do that is because this is way better for your customers, yeah. It takes you a longer time to make you like it takes you double the time to make Swiss meringue buttercream than it takes you to make um American buttercream. But the good thing is, half of the volume of this buttercream is made up of egg white, yeah and so an egg whites are low in calories so it is better for your customers so apart from feeding them nice really tasty cakes and the buttercream is actually very light and it is very tasty so you're not compromising on taste or quality and at the same time you'll be giving them something that is good for their health so it is good for their health and you will not be feeding people just sugar so you so you should switch and the amazing thing with my recipe is that you do not need a thermometer you do not need tempering tools or anything very easy and very simple you should try it and if you try it just let me know how it goes for you <laughs> okay guys so now that i finished telling you on my buttercream recipe <laughs> so right now we're going to do the same thing for the last layer and i want you to notice what i'm doing for the last layer yeah so we're going to turn it upside down and we're going to like lace the bottom that we're going to put on top of the cake with the red label yeah notice we're glazing just the bottom we're not glazing the top the reason is because like if you glaze the top when you're trying to maybe ganache a cake or use buttercream over it it will be sliding i not to explain it it won't work well to just be sliding off or but if you're just making this cake for you to eat at home you can glaze the cake you don't really care about what it looks like yeah but if you do care about what it looks like you do care about like the end result of it you want it to look nice and presentable don't glaze the top just glaze the bottom and then turn it over on top of the cake so the top of this cake right now is not glazed do you get yeah so once you're done with this then cover it in buttercream and you can as well flavor your buttercream with a red label all you have to do is put a little maybe two or three tablespoons you don't want it to be too watery and then mix your um, buttercream and that's all she wrote so thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed it could you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so, I'll see you next time in, I don't know, I'll just see you guys next time. Bye.